Mastering Email Etiquette, Salutations and Closings. Hello learners. Today, we'll dive into a vital aspect of workplace written communication, email etiquette. Specifically, we'll focus on the art of beginning and ending your emails, the salutations and closings. These little details can set the tone for your entire message. Salutations and closings might seem like small details, but they play an essential role in emails. They 1. Set the tone. A proper greeting can make the recipient more receptive to your message. 2. Show respect. It's a sign that you acknowledge the recipient's position and value their time. 3. Indicate the nature of the relationship, whether it's formal, informal, or somewhere in between. Salutations are your first impression, so choose wisely. Here are some common ones. 1. Formal. 2. Dear Mr. Smith, when you know the person's name and gender. 3. Dear Dr. Jones, for professionals with specific titles. 4. To whom it may concern, when you don't know the recipient's name. Use sparingly. 5. Neutral. 6. Hello, a friendly, universal greeting. 7. Hi, name, slightly informal and commonly used. 8. Informal, use with caution, especially in a professional setting. 9. Hey, name, very casual, best for colleagues you're close to. 10. Greetings, less common, but still friendly. Endings are just as crucial as beginnings. Here's how to sign off gracefully. 1. Formal. 2. Sincerely. Widely accepted for business emails. 3. Best regards. Another formal, but warmer option. 4. Neutral. 5. Regards. Neutral and fits most situations. 6. Thanks. Use when you're expressing gratitude. 7. Informal. 8. Cheers, casual and friendly. 9. Catch you later, very casual. Use only when the relationship is informal. Remember, always pair the closing with your name. For example, regards, your name. Mastering salutations and closings in emails might seem trivial but it goes a long way in ensuring your message is received in the intended manner. It's all about striking the right balance and being respectful. We hope this guide helps you in your professional journey.